I've always learned in life, and especially through my Alouette journey, when there's no pain, there's no gain. So I was very much of an introvert and very shy in my 20s, so uh, I found it hard to step out of my comfort zone and talk to people. When you actually sit down as a young mom and do the math, <laughs> babysitting uh, costs, parking downtown, nice clothes to wear to work, and so on, the list just continues with expenses. So as much as you're making X amount of dollars, you take the expenses off. I was making $100 a week and running a rat race. Working at the Ministry of Health and going back full time with the two babies was, was very difficult and trying to have that balance and, and so on. But yes, it was a side hustle. It was once or twice a week along with that full time job. And then I was able to you know, have the same income I was making after 18 months. My husband at first was not really supportive because he looked at me letting go of my pension and just the whole fear of, you know, there's two types of fears you go through. It's the fear of failure and then the fear of success. And the fear of success is even a bigger fear to know, okay, I don't have that full-time job to rely on anymore. My dad said to me, you know, why are you gonna peddle cosmetics when you're leaving that you're leaving a good government job? There was lots of little negativities and opinions that Definitely, if I listened to them, I would not be where I am today. So it's so important to really follow your heart. Three years in, I was then at a six-figure income. Friends and family will help you out at the beginning, sort of for obligation, but you can't keep going back to them. So you do have to step outside of your comfort zone to, to meet people outside of that circle. Standing up, and doing presentations and pamper parties, gosh, I couldn't even eat dinner the first couple times. I, would, I, I figured I, would, I was going to get sick if I would eat. So my first month or two in the business, I lost a lot of weight <laughs> because of my nerves. But anyways, it was just, um, yeah, you just make yourself. We have been very fortunate over the years that our company does give lots of recognition and trips and so on. And, you know, as a young mom at 26, we went nowhere. I mean, we went camping. That was our holiday. So to win a trip to Hawaii at 26 was also a point of no return. I thought, wow, this lifestyle I really like. So I kind of look at what you're doing in life and ask you, yourself why. What is your why and what drives you to do it after all these years still? This is my why. My purpose is to use my passion and my persistence to inspire and guide others and help develop people to their fullest potential with joy and ease. I always believe in living each day to the fullest and that was something that my dad also lived by as well and making the best of every day. He was a janitor and he loved his job. He whistled while he worked. So, you know, it's just really making the best of every situation and you don't get a second chance. Life is not a dress rehearsal. 